Hello, welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe. It is a beautiful day here for Groundhog Day. More of the same where the pundits are all wondering how the market continues to behave and I stand here and or sit here and say markets are just simply following earnings stream. Um, the, the difference of Groundhog Day, of course, is in that famous movie eventually snapped out of that day that kept repeating itself and moved on to another iteration of life. But, but markets are indeed permanently reflections or discounting of, of earning streams. That's what stock prices are. And, and so in that sense, the theme of markets being driven by earnings is not going to change. However, the narrative that first of all drives media coverage and, and a sort of market conversation as well as the different things that I'm kind of addressing in Dividend Cafe is very likely to change. This kind of continued theme of, hey, markets have moved higher. There's this political dysfunction in DC. What is going on? And then markets respond with more movement to the upside. And we sit around and talk about that. And I give the perpetual reminder about the primacy of earnings acceleration. Um, I think at some point that story will will take a back seat. And I don't know what the replacement will be. I don't know if it will end up being a crisis in China. Um, I don't know if it will be uh, Draghi and the European Central Bank surprising markets with um, accelerated plans to unwind their quantitative easing. Um, I don't know if it will be the failure of Congress to pass tax reform. I don't think it will be. Um, but, you know, various measures around fiscal policy are important. Um, and then, of course, I suppose one of the higher uh, likelihood candidates for a new conversation would be at some point if the Federal Reserve, uh, our own central bank, would actually surprise markets with um, uh, more aggressive than expected uh, efforts towards tightening monetary policy. Um, all of those things have been thrown out there. All of these things are potential catalyst to a reversal in market fortunes. None of them have happened. Um, I suspect that any number of things could, could uh, change our conversation. But um, when it comes to tax reform, I am of the opinion, first of all, that their timeline they're throwing out there for getting it done is probably very unrealistic. But I am of the opinion that it's going to get done. There are some details we don't know. We don't know how they're going to treat pass-through entities. Uh, think of your S-Corps and LLCs. Th those things still remain to be seen, as well as what exactly the expensing will look like for corporations. Um, so there's still a few unknowns around it, and not to mention where the actual corporate tax rate will end up. But basically, we do know that corporate tax reform and some form of a more investor and market friendly uh, tax reform is likely to get done. That from all indications, they are more prepared, politically speaking, to drive this through. Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily guarantee that, but, but if I had to bet on it, I probably would. But uh, we have not yet seen um, enough political acumen to have for anything to get done legislatively, and so it's impossible to, to be overly confident in this thesis. I do know this, the primary beneficiaries of corporate tax reform are wage earners. Study after study bears this out. <clears throat> their ability to pass tax reform will largely come down to their ability to sell the message of middle class uh, benefits driven from higher wages and higher job opportunities when there is a lower tax burden on corporate America. It's a cogent thesis and it's a very sellable one. But I digress. So in terms of the overall landscape, um, one of the things I covered at the Written Dividend Cafe this week is this conversation about the VIX. So many people so concerned volatility has been so low. The VIX is not exactly a great measurement of volatility. It's a great measurement of the volatility we just got done having or lack of volatility we just got done having. It has a real backward looking reflection to it. As far as a go forward um, expectation, nobody has any idea. And there's not a great way to invest in it because the VIX, it, those who want to bet on higher volatility, the problem is that there's a timing component and it gets very complicated when it's a series of option contracts that have an expiration date. 
So essentially, we've talked all year about volatility has been very, very low, but I don't know that that has any material or fundamental relevance to investors. Uh, we, we don't want to be complacent about risk, and so we don't allow our clients to be. We don't allow ourselves to be as portfolio managers. We understand and recognize and respect and even uh, in a healthy way fear the realities of markets, which can be very biting forces when they go against you. And yet we seek to exploit and make money from that risk premium that that presents. Uh, overall, the month of July is over and it was very difficult to have not made money in July. Virtually all bond asset classes, stock asset classes, international uh, domiciles were all up on the month. Um, really the only way to have probably lost money in July would have been to be long dollar or to have been um, long volatility. But uh, you know what? It's a new month and new sets of challenges, new conversations, but actually still that one same primary narrative and that is everyone expressing shock and awe at the disconnect between stock markets and Washington, D.C. Um, so we, uh, I think you know how we feel at the Bonson Group, what we're doing. We very much uh, encourage you to reach out if you have any particular questions. If you're a client of ours and would like further um, conversation around what this all means to your portfolio, what specifically we're doing, what knobs we're turning. Look, we, we, we uh, lean on the more defensive side intrinsically. It's who we are. We, we value the art of risk management, take it very seriously. If you're not a client and you just want to explore something a little further, talk to one of our advisors, uh, get to know our process better, reach out as well. But that's our story. I'm going to leave it there. Have a wonderful weekend. Look forward to coming back to you next week with more uh, food for thought at the Dividend Cafe. Thank you.